Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you're going to see how you can use Stripe Checkout to collect a customer's information to start a free trial without payment details. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to use a Stripe sample. So we're going to say Stripe samples create checkout single subscription. And I'm going to call this one trials. This is gonna ask us what we wanna use on the back end. We'll use Ruby for our server. Now we'll jump into this trials directory that it created for us. And you'll notice that in the root of the sample, there is this new thing called a sample seed.json. So this sample seed is gonna automatically create the products and prices for us that are associated with the samples. Here we can say Stripe fixtures and pass in sample seed.json and then hit enter and that will create the products and prices using the API. Now, if we head over to the Stripe dashboard and refresh at the very top here, we'll see two new products that were created, a starter and a professional. Let's grab the price for the starter. This is gonna be the monthly price of $12. And now we can open up our server directory and there's a .n file with our environment variables. And that's where we're gonna set in our price ID. We also want to do the same thing for that pro price that was created for us. So we're going to grab our price ID here and we're going to drop that into the pro price. Now that we have our environment variables configured, again, because we're using the Stripe CLI, that's going to set our API keys for us. Now we can say, uh, jump into the server directory and bundle install. That's going to install our dependencies. Next, we can say Ruby server and that's going to fire up our Sinatra server. And we can head over to localhost 4242 to see what we've got going on. So this is gonna allow us to choose which plan we want, the starter for $12 a month or professional for 18. Let's start off with the starter plan. We're redirected to Stripe checkout and we're asked for our payment details. Notice that nothing about this page signals that we're on a trial yet. That's because we have not customized the checkout session in order to start a trial without payment method up front. So let's jump into our uh, server here. We're gonna open up server.rb and take a look at what we've got going on. So this is the post route where we're creating checkout sessions. We have an entire series all about how to set up Stripe checkout. So if you're not familiar, head over and do the checkout 101 series. It's available in the documentation or here on YouTube. Now, when we create the checkout session, we can also pass in subscription underscore data this is gonna allow us to configure the subscription that is created by Stripe Checkout when the customer goes through that flow. Now, inside of subscription data here, we can set trial period days to some number of days that we want to offer a trial for, maybe 14 days. Okay, we also want to set payment method collection to if required. That means that we'll only collect the payment method if it's required immediately. All right, let's restart our server and take a look at this flow one more time. Localhost 4242. Now when we select the starter plan and we're redirected to Stripe checkout, instead of collecting all of our payment details, we're just asked for our email address. We can see that we're gonna start a free trial that it's 14 days free and then it's $12 per month after that. So here we can enter test at example.com and hit start trial. And that is how we start this free trial. Now, one of the recommendations that you'll find from the documentation is that we should use the billing portal or the customer portal in order to enable customers to update and add a payment method on file. So right now, this demo already has support for adding that button at the bottom and customers can come in here, add a payment method, and maybe they wanna add a 4242 card in here and hit add and now, when their trial expires, this is the card that will be charged for that $12 a month plan. It's also possible to use a no-code customer portal where they can enter the email address they used at checkout and receive an email. They're redirected to this page. The one other thing that we might want to do is inside of our server where we're handling webhooks is listen for a specific event type. So right now that we have an event that we're listening for, checkout session completed, we might also want to say if the event type is end, then we want to email the customer with a link to the portal. So from the Stripe dashboard, you can head over to the settings 
And under the customer portal settings, if you scroll to the very bottom, there is a section for a no code customer portal. So here, if you don't see this link, you can click generate link. Otherwise you can copy that link. And that is the link that we want to send customers to. So we're going to send them back to that exact email address. Now this customer subscription trial will end event is only going to fire 14 days after they start the subscription. So you might be wondering, how can we actually test that this is going to work as expected? Well, one option is to use this feature of the API called test clocks. So what we could do, this is sort of an advanced approach is say, we want to create a new test clock. It's going to be uh, an API call to uh, Stripe under the test helpers namespace test clock.create and we're going to give it a frozen time and that's going to be time.now.2i that's just the unix timestamp for the current time we also need to create a customer object stripe customer.create and we're going to pass in that test clock test clock.id and then we want to use this customer when we create the checkout session that way the resulting subscription is associated with this test clock that we can use to simulate moving through time so that we can ensure that we're handling that trial will end event properly. So now we can say customer is customer.id. And this is also going to sort of pin uh, this checkout session to a, a specific customer that we just created. All right, so next what we can do is let's restart our server, walk through this flow, and I'll show you what I mean by test clocks. Localhost 4242. We're gonna select the professional version this time. You'll see that we still have 14 days free, and then it's gonna be $18 per month after that. I'm gonna enter in an email address here and hit enter. Now, if we look into the Stripe dashboard under our customers, we see a brand new customer was created here at the top, and you'll notice that there is a clock here. There's this orange clock. That means that this customer is associated with a simulation. So what we can do is we can go to the test clock, and this enables us to move through time. So we could advance time, but before we do so, we want to make sure that we're listening for webhook events that are firing on our account. So I'm going to open a new tab here and say Stripe listen dash dash forward to localhost 4242 slash webhook. That's going to form a direct connection between Stripe and my local machine so that when events happen on my Stripe account, those are delivered to our local running webhook handler. Okay. Now if we say advance time and because we're on a 14 day trial, maybe we would end on the 28th, but let's move us all the way to the 30th and click on advance. Now in the logs, you'll notice that we have uh, started an event for advancing the test clock. We also see that invoice upcoming is firing. And here we see that the customer subscription trial will end. So if we go look in the server logs, here we see email the customer with a link to the portal. And this is the actual customer portal, no code customer portal link. So if I were to open this up, this gives us a way to enter our email address that we used at checkout and send a code. So that actually sent a code to me. So that was entered on my phone, received on my phone, entered in. And now here I can see, okay, I, this is where I need to go to update my payment method on file. So I'm going to add a payment method here. Let's add again, maybe this time we'll add a US bank account, enter the same email address, put my name in, and we're going to use a test institution. So in production, this would be a list of actual live production banks that you could authenticate with and connect directly to your customer's account. And then they can add that. And from here forward, now they will be charged this $18 per month as part of their plan. So again, we can go back to the Stripe dashboard and we could advance time once more if we wanted. This time, maybe let's add um, a month and a day or so and we'll advance. Now again, time is advancing and we can see in the logs for the listener that we have the customer was updated. We have a payment intents that are processing, charges that are being processed. We have invoices being finalized. So lots of things are happening as this clock is advancing. It does take a little bit of time to fully advance. If we head back over to the customer and look at their subscription, we'll notice that this is now on a, an active professional subscription and the next invoice is gonna be on November 28th. Um, the, again, the, the clock is now pinned to October 31st. We are seeing now $18 is gonna be charged again on our next invoice. And if we scroll down, we can see that we actually have 
um, paid an invoice here on the 18th. Now, because we're using ACH, the funds have not actually been confirmed, but they will, after a couple of days, these are gonna be fully processed and settled into our account. So that's how we can set up a free trial without collecting payment details up front and how we can use test clocks to simulate moving through time and handling that customer.subscription.trial will end event. You can head over to the documentation to learn more. There's also a couple different betas for handling when trials expire without a payment method type. If you're interested in participating in that beta, you can send an email to billing-trials-beta at stripe.com. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.